it's Jay and today I'm here with my August favorites for 2019. I don't have a lot of things to show you but I have a lot of like experiences, things that I did to talk about. So without further ado, let us get started. So as always, I like to start with the experiences. So the first thing I'll talk about is HTC Frenzy which is basically an event that HTC Frenzy, which is the YA teen section of HarperCollins, puts on in Toronto every year and they basically just talk about new releases and things that they're excited about for the upcoming season. So this year I got invited to go again which I am so thankful for. I got to see Julia from Julia Sapphire and Zoe from Your Book Nerd Zoe and I was just really excited to see them again because I literally only see them at these events so it's always a highlight. But I have a vlog up of the experience if you want to check it out. I mean I'm not a very good vlogger when I go to events because I just get really excited about seeing people that I haven't seen in a really long time and I forget to vlog. But if you're interested, check that out. It was a grand old time. We got swag bags. So I talk about all that in the vlog. So check that out if you want. The next experience that I want to talk about is just like the highlight of my summer. I got to go to a goat movie watch thing. Basically, it's at this farm called Triple C Farms. They just have a bunch of goats running around willy-nilly as you watch a movie. I did not watch that movie. I just played with goats. Here are some pictures of that. But you literally can just scoop them up and just cuddle goats. And like I I don't think anybody understands how excited I was that I got to just cuddle goats for two hours but there's another one on September 14th so you know your girl will be attending that again. We watched The Three Amigos like I said did not watch it could not tell you anything about that movie other than it had the guy from Pink Panther in it but goats guys goats and then the final experience that I have I actually have like a little memento that I got from it so my boyfriend Ricardo and I I spontaneously decided one night that we were going to go to Niagara Falls and just rent a hotel and spend the night there and the next day and he randomly was just like let's do this so we booked a hotel we went and it was just so much fun getting to go like pretend at being adults you know for a night we went to the casino at four in the morning did we win no he did I didn't that machine hated me so much like I would press the button lose all the money and he would just come up and press my button and he'd win so clearly that machine was just a hater so like I said we spent the night there and then the next morning we went down to the falls spent about 10 minutes there and before it looked like it was just gonna start pouring so we ran back to our car and we were like let's just figure out something else to do we pulled out of the parking spot and then it just like downpoured so we decided that we would drive 20 to 30 minutes to Niagara on the lake and there's like a bunch of shops and things like that down there we went to a distillery for him he's like a big beer fan and then we went to like a candy store got a lot of candy I actually have some of the candy still which is probably not good because it was at the beginning of August. We got a lot of shit and he picked me up this little moose to commemorate our trip and his name is Moosh. Moosh the moose and I love him so much. He's just so soft and cuddly but it was kind of funny because I ended up going to the bathroom and when I came back he just had this moose and was like hi I love you here's a moose and I got really excited because I'm a child. But yeah, I had a really good time on that trip. It was like the first trip that we ever went to together other than like going up to the cottage, which is like not the same thing as like being responsible and like renting a hotel room and like planning shit, you know? It was great. It was a lot of fun. Good times. Moosh is a favorite. Okay, now moving on to like things that I've been loving this month. The first thing I have is a clothing item. It is these shorts. I actually wore them to Niagara Falls, which is when I decided that I loved them. But they're just these black, pink, green, flowered, hawaiian e shorts. They are so comfortable. The material is like silk e, but it's not silk. It's kind of like spandex, but they're just the most comfortable things ever. I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be sleep shorts, but your girl wears them out because... I cannot be controlled, okay? And then I got two Funko Pops this month. The first one I bought myself, the second one, Ricardo wins all of the prizes for best presents. The first one is the one that I bought and it is Sarah Sanderson. She is part of the Sanderson sisters, which are from Hocus Pocus. I have Winifred and Mary. I got them last year and 
every time I would go to the store, Sarah was sold out, which I was always so bummed about because she's my all-time favorite Sanderson sister. So I saw her at Hot Topic the other day and I freaked out, bought it. Also bought like three other um, Funko Pops at that time, but they're not a favorite because I got a Sarah one, so. <laughs> and then, like I said, Ricardo wins for best president of all time. If you guys don't know, I am obsessed with drag queens, RuPaul's Drag Race, my favorite show in the entire world. I just love them so much. Their art form is just like amazing to me, the things that they do, the entertainment. I love drag queens. So I have had my eye on the RuPaul Funko Pop for the longest time now, but they literally sold out within five minutes of being on sale and they've never been in store again. So my little angel baby unicorn of a boyfriend found it on Amazon and surprised me with it. Um, Here is a clip of when he gave it to me. I don't wanna look at it until it's like, like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where did you find that? Don't worry about it. It's funny later. What is it? <laughs> but what kind? <laughs> but here is the precious RuPaul Funko Pop. I am still in shock. I apparently yelled at him. Don't remember yelling at him for it. But I am just absolutely in love with her and I just have her on display. She has her own like little display case over there. She's my prized possession basically. I love her so much. And now on to my favorite part of the video when I get to lip sync terribly to the songs I've been loving this month. I am not gonna bore you guys with my obsession with the new Taylor Swift Lover album. I have a ranking of it. I am honestly obsessed with like pretty much every song on it. Won't bore you with that entire rendition of my lip syncing, but just know the entire Lover album is my favorite thing. I'm apparently in love with all the songs that everybody else hates, and I don't know what that says about me as a person, but I'm obsessed with It's Nice to Have a Friend, I Forgot That You Existed, London Boy, Afterglow, those are my top four. But the entire album is just like a masterpiece. I've been listening to it on repeat. Other than that, I've been loving the new Normani song. It's called Motivation. I think it's so catchy. It's just such a good time. So here it is. I watched her VMA's performance and she killed it, hit the ball right out of the park. I'm obsessed with her. I think she is just like so perfect and just oh her music love it and then the other song that i've been playing on repeat is called july and it's by noah cyrus miley cyrus's little sister i also have been digging miley cyrus's new song slide away but we're not gonna play that today but just know also a favorite but here is july by noah cyrus <laughs> I just love her voice so much. I just think it's so raspy and beautiful and like it's the same with Miley Cyrus's voice. I just love it so much but I think that Noah Cyrus is like an octave lower than Miley if that makes sense but I just think that her voice is so like comforting. It's like a warm hug. I just really like it if that makes any sense at all but big fan of her, big fan of Miley Cyrus's slide away but we're not gonna play it due to time factors but love that one too. Alright guys, so those were my August favorites for 2019. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!